basics. Have they done that? Well, the defence have been a lot better. Palace haven't had a shot on target. You know, Jermaine's right, they've had more possession, more shots. Uh, they're just lacking a little bit of clinical edge. But I think Brendan will be happy with the fact they've, they've kept a clean sheet. You know, they tend not to, to do that. So I think so far the first half's good. They just need something for, for all the good play that they've had. Yeah, and as always, we talk about Madison, don't we, being that little spark. We could see that, couldn't we? But you talked about that movement. That was a bit better from Leicester City, wasn't it? Yeah, and especially, and this is what you want to see, you know, especially at home when you can, you know, you get into good areas like, like here. This is clever, I like this. This is really clever. Um, little quick one-twos. And you see here, I think a softer touch there, maybe, you know, you, a, a better shot at goal. Um, again, you know, you get the ball wide. Now, this this way you can, you know, be inventive and you can you try things. Maybe it went on there, but... Um, we enjoyed that, that, that bit, Owen, when it was, you know, little one-twos around the box and stuff. Yeah, I mean, I like the fact that Barnes is really direct, Dewsbury Hall, they're all linking up really well. You know, that, that left-hand channel, the, the one-twos, it's not so much just movement, it's also one-twos, they're kind of, they're linking really well. So they got, they've had the better of the play, but yeah. Jermaine made a really good point. When you get in there, you said smaller steps. Yeah, smaller steps to get your, to get your shot off. Um, you, do, you do all the hard bit to get to, to get the, the chance, but I just think little smaller steps just to get your shot off instead of your shot getting blocked or the keeper coming out where you've had a heavy, heavy touch um, could make the difference. Well, actually, we saw that Patson Dacker had a chance, didn't he? What should he have done better in given this opportunity that he had? So this is a big chance, and um, especially when, when you've been sort of like... It's good it's, movement. It's, 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 it's good fantastic movement. movement. It? Maybe, maybe actually take another touch, and because defenders always panic in situations like this, um, but... You know, he would probably turn around and say, well, I've hit the target. And it's sort of like there's not much backlift there, but... Would you hit that back across goal low? I'll hit, I was just about to say that I would hit it back across goal because the goalkeeper is covering the near post, so you have to try and go across the goalkeeper. That's all I'd say. As for Crystal Palace, no shots on target in the first 45 minutes, but they've had a couple of chances, Owen. Yeah, I mean, they've, had, they've been dangerous on set pieces. Eze, I mean, this is a great ball, Jermaine. Oh, yeah, that's brilliant. He has to score. in a great ball. He should score, shouldn't yeah, he? he has to score because he's seen it come. All the way, I think they work a little block here or something. We've seen Leicester struggle on set pieces. They, maybe they've overloaded at the back yeah. post there. But I mean, when you're struggling on set piece, you have to, you have to make first contact. There, if he heads that down from that distance... and the ...situation too often, do they? No, and I mean, this is another little example. They, they've got good attacking players, we said before. Zaha, Eze at the edge of the box, take it on. Look, you're not going to score from there. You know, it hasn't been a vintage for, for, for either team. I think we'll get goals in the second half. In Leicester City over the years, we've seen the highs, haven't we? But this is a real low for them. Talking about pressure, did they look like players that were playing with a lot of pressure today? Um, I think the way they started at times, you thought they don't, they don't seem like a team that's playing at the bottom of the league. Um, you know, a lot of personality, you know, getting to, get, get to good areas, um, created one or two chances. But in terms of that confidence and that final bit um, where you've got to be ruthless, uh, you've got to make the difference just weren't good enough and that's probably why they've struggled um, along with obviously conceded too many goals but there was there was, there was, there was a lot of positives there's a lot of positives the chances they created and Palace are you know they've struggled of late but Palace are a good side um, but I think being at home probably need to to create more and um, and, and and be more ruthless I think that's the only that's the only thing really yeah it was that wasn't it just they'd get into good spaces but it just was that final third I don't think they look like a team that was bottom of the table before the game, not at all. You know, you think about, they've got Tielemans in there, Dewsbury Hall, Madison. They've got good ball players. Barnes had a really good game as well, just the last bit was missing. Mm -hmm. mm. They played some good stuff, but Jay makes a great point. They just need that, that final ball, obviously keeping a clean sheet at the back. That's a huge plus for Brendan and those players. Now, at the end of the match, actually in injury time, we thought there was a penalty didn't yeah. we? And then as you looked at it closely, it was very clear that it was a yellow card for James Madison. But straight away, what did you think when you watched this? Actually, when I, obviously, when I first saw it, we sort of like jumped up for it was a penalty because <laughs> we're just desperate for a goal or something to happen. But it, obviously, the referee does really well um, there. But it's one of those situations where you, you, bec you become desperate and you're trying anything just to sort of like get an edge or just to get an opportunity to score. And obviously, he's got, he's, he's got the yellow card and he misses the next game. But... Um, but, yeah, we, when I first saw it, we actually thought it was a penalty. Jermaine, he, he takes the ball. He's, he can shoot. Yeah, he, he can, can shoot. turn around and he can cross it. You know, yeah. there's... I, yeah. I know sometimes the lads dive when they think they can't get the ball, but it actually, he had yeah. the ball, didn't he? You yeah. know, so really, he probably thinks, you know, he's probably going to take the penalty, but he can, he can go pick that up, and it, and turn around, he can cross it with his left, he yeah. can stand it back up at the back post. So I understand, like Jermaine's a bit of desperation, but he's got to stay on his feet. England manager's there, he's watching you. You're, you're under the microscope. 
you can't dive in a moment like that. Plus, he could have got it and he could have decided the game. And also, as you pointed out, he misses the next game, which is against Leeds at home. Another home game that you can't afford to be missing your key player, can you? No, not at all. I think you need... I mean, again... Because that's when things happen. Um, and obviously, he's missing, he's missing the next game over something silly like that. Um, when you need all your, all, your, all your top players on the pitch. Um, and Leeds, you know, they'll, they'll come with an, an intensity. They'll make it difficult. Um, so, um, yes, yeah, unfortunate for Leicester that he'll miss the next game for sure. And